Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at decomposition of signals using unit samples. So we are going to look at decomposition of signals using unit samples. That is, that is, given a discrete signal x of n, we are going to decompose it as a linear combination of infinite number of unit samples. That is, summation m equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of m multiplied by the unit sample. It is delta of m minus n. So, we are going to basically decompose a given discrete signal as a linear combination of infinite number of unit samples. That is for example given an, given an arbitrary signal say uh, we have an arbitrary signal that has the following values zeros. So assume that this point is the origin then this value is x of 0 and this one is x of 1 and x of 2 and so on and then on the negative side we have x of minus 1 x of minus 2 and so on so given an arbitrary signal like this we can decompose it as a linear combination of infinite number of unit samples so for example the value of the signal at x of, at 0 that is x of 0 can be represented as this value which is basically x of 0 multiplied so the value at x at 0 that is x of 0 can be represented as x of 0 multiplied by delta of n which is also equal to delta of minus n so it is delta of minus n and the value at x of 1 can be represented as false it is x of 1 multiplied by delta of 1 minus n similarly we can represent the values of at, at 2 that is x of 2 and at 3 that is x of 3 by using a weighted unit sample and similarly the values on the negative side can also be represented as weighted unit samples that is for example x of minus 1 can be represented as follows that is it is equal to x of minus 1 multiplied by delta of 1 plus n originally this is actually equal actually this is equal to delta of minus 1 minus n but since the unit sample is a even function is an even function we can write it as delta of 1 plus n so we can clearly see that the given sequence x of n is actually equal to a linear combination of the following values x of minus 1 multiplied by delta of 1 plus n plus x of 0 multiplied by delta of n and then x of 1 multiplied by delta of 1 minus n and x of 2 multiplied by delta of 2 minus n and so on. There is the infinite number of terms. So from this summation we can clearly see that x of n is equal to the following infinite sum that is m equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of m delta of m minus n. So the main idea of this analysis is that a given discrete signal can be represented as a linear combination of weighted unit samples and a classic example for this decomposition is the representation of unit step signal this unit step sequence u of n equal to 1 for values of n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for values of n less than 0 it is this unit step sequence and the unit step sequence is graphically represented as follows Note that all these values are equal to 1 for values of n greater than or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 for values of n less than 0. We can clearly see that this unit step sequence can be decomposed as linear combination of unit samples with weights equal to 1. That is this is the value at 0 and this is the value at 1 that is at n equal to 1 value at n equal to 1 and whose weight is also equal to 1 and this is the value at n equal to 2 
and so on up to infinity. So clearly, the unit step sequence u of n, the unit step sequence is equal to the summation m equal to minus infinity to plus infinity u of m multiplied by delta of m minus n. And from this decomposition, we can clearly see that the value of n only starts from 0 or in other words, the summation can also be started at m equal to 0. So, this is equal to the sum m equal to 0 to infinity delta of m minus n. Thus, discrete signals can be decomposed as linear combination of weighted unit samples. Thanks for watching.